generally speaking there are 20 questions of 10 marks and 15 marks they are more abstract in idea in the recent times one pattern is one complete question and one they have sub parts the sub parts are easier of course but of course we do not get the break there are two questions we do not understand 5 10 10 5 12 3 3 12 we do not know there is discretion of the evaluator there is discretion of you yourself which one do you prioritize generally speaking for an answer you should be touching upon all the given dimensions or all the possible dimensions it should come as an effective brainstorming as you brainstorm you need to brainstorm in the right approach so that you can incorporate all the given topics it is an effective tool see for a 10 marker questions generally they are of technical nature these are of technical nature suppose a question the question will have a thesis statement generally speaking and there will be an extension to that given thesis statement thesis statement a general statement may or may not contain the general truth it can be subject to interpretation can be subject to agreement it can be subject to counter argument etc and the extension generally speaking they can be comment they can be elucidate they can be elaborate they can be discuss there can be a critical examination any other extension that is that comes to your mind and you feel difficulty any other extension that comes to your mind and you face difficulty in what to write is there anything that comes to your mind way out ah, causalities yes generally these types or it can trace the causes or basically saying the question can be of causes or uh, platform that means if you break the question it will be the platform context or the causes or the context that is another it can be significance repercussions impact they are all synonymous and finally there can be understanding of the nature impact is significance then there is nature nature of the given topic to understand the nature what are the key components for the same how to analyze the character the nature or the character of the given issue these are the given types so these are all the parameters of questions right suppose there is a question understand what you have to do with the given thesis statement there is a question and comment you have to comment on it right there is you that means the different dimensions how it can be how it should have been you will comment on it that means will it be personalized will it be opinionated yes commenting should be opinionated but here does it rely on your own personal opinion should it be biased not rather i am commenting that means i will give the different dimensions different views perspectives for the given thesis statement and try to make it look biased uh, uh, unbiased i'll try to assume a middle path discuss is a discussion it should have the this framework should have the structure of a discussion that also seems that i will give different examples and ideas to justify the thesis statement different directions for a given thesis statement i can deny the validity i can say the given statement i do not agree to or for the given statement i can say i do agree to it or there is another path away from the acceptance and the denial i can also embrace that according to my own discretion i will choose that whenever i say elucidate or elaborate it is often justifying the thesis given statement but again denying the thesis statement is also another form of accepting it but my suggestion why am i giving you this self contradictory information 
do i know exactly how the paper is marked no does anybody know in the in the in the industry less likely can you influence the, these parameters inside the examination hall as a scholar also yes definitely there can be those points in your mind that is beyond my imagination as an evaluator you can surprise me that is why your own individual quality is very much welcome while i justify the given st thesis statement if i add 20% of the given question answer in looking beyond the thesis statement i am adding value to it that is why i cannot stop you from denying the validity of the thesis statement but if i say that only reject while saying elucidate or elaborate only say the statement is not true how to elaborate a given thesis statement with opinions with facts with views opinions that is views with facts and figures and definitely if any remarks of any uh, that is evidence abso absolutely correct i will try to elucidate it you will improvise these are certain thinking lines i am not saying that this is all these are certain tips clues right for a question that is critical examination did i write this is very much opinionated i believe a critical examination does rely on your view as to how you feel about the statement these are generally opinionated heavily opinionated but without showing the other side can you give your opinion it looks unproductive suppose you are arguing is a very simple question that whether in the schools a uniform should be prescribed or the people should have the discretion of whatever wearing wearing by them, themselves right or simply in schools that what food you should be carrying for lunch the, the kids there are schools they prefer that you bring whatever you have in your discretion capacity some say you only will bring the porridge of potato and chapati roti phulka nothing else this is there are you probably accept you probably deny or maybe you are indifferent you do not care what to eat for lunch that can be the case right or you say that no lunch you should stay hungry and that means beyond acceptance and rejection for those who prefer having all having the same diet believe in equality the student psyche will not be impacted that some student can bring for vegetarians what is the richest food rajma chawal right for suppose you can bring or biryani according to your harisa according to your discretion that shows affluence it creates psychological pressure upon your peers that is your opinion then you give your opinion by giving both the side of the argument suppose a group of smokers will always say smoking is great for those non smokers will say smoking is horrible for a non smoker who wants the smokers to quit you can start by no you should not be smoking from tomorrow is it a valuable ar argument no right the smoker will also say that you should start smoking from tomorrow the, there is a deadlock immediately no discussion that will follow through so the non smokers have to argue that yes there are benefits of smoking there is none <clears throat> by saying the benefits of smoking should say for a truck driver about to meet with his debt immediately tired driving for 18 hours straight a drag on a cigarette might be life saving it is cancerous it is not advisable i am not saying in any ways direct or indirect smoking is healthy in that you switch your arguments towards the fair voice that is the idea of presenting your opinions by looking at the pros you will shift the direction shape the course of the argument towards your desired direction this is an art again i recommend for a question you should do one thing for a question you will be writing the answer right which should have generally an introduction in time according to your requirement you can let go of the introduction if you so want to the next is the body and the third is the conclusion is a standard model 
generally speaking body contains the answer generally speaking again not literally there are few models of writing the answer introduction it is to give a cushioning effect to the question you are about to answer or it gives a linkage whenever you write it's an effective model i want you to experiment see the first step is to brainstorm the necessary points that can be point 1 2 3 4 5 with practice it will be sequential in your final after 80 to 100 questions 50 to 80 you do not have to write them anymore but for now you should be writing in the very beginning itself in the initial points it will be pure generally garbage you will warm up you will start writing what is useful first of all you have jotted down jotted them down then you will realign them according to their priority then suppose there is a question where you want to write 150 words roughly speaking introduction should take about 20 to 30% in this case 30 to 50 words you know depending on the question suppose you do not know the answer you will eat away the word limits by brilliant introduction i am actually giving you life saving advices or a brilliant conclusion right you do not know the answer what to do you make some general observations yes whatever you are saying is very insightful it's a very good question and you dilly dally write something productive you will get at the least about 2 to 3 marks which is very essential to clear the paper become the topper probably you do not know the value of 2 marks so here after you have jotted down these five points you will realign and suppose write two sentences about 10 words for each you have 100 words in the examination hall you have written three words for all of them you will let go of the fifth point there will be cases where the least important you do not know anything about it you will elaborate on the least important subject very elaborately so this is what you have to do according to the discretion in the examination hall what exactly is going on this i cannot teach there will be cases you will be writing 10 points you have a lot of knowledge lot of content on the given topic you will make a tree you will make a graphical representation and you will present that in that spirit you can add as many dimensions as you can i will never be restricting you and it is not a good advice suppose this structure framework in the mind of the evaluator is the point you have written at the fifth one if you have avoided that the paper setter will not be knowing the length and the depth of your mind your cognitive abilities you only get one attempt in that very year would you want to risk it by not writing it thereby in a tabular form the effective implementation of graphicacy helps you a lot am i clear the more you write in tabular format more charts venn diagrams you will see often in your experience of writing answers whenever you have no dearth of information no paucity of information it seems to become more tabular you tend to work on graphicacy charts diagrams etc whenever there is lack of information it becomes more like essay more argumentative more abstract you will learn that often to show your knowledge base your precision you will adapt to an argumentative model an essay based model it is your discretion that you have to also improvise given the demand of the question generally speaking for introduction a simpler approach is facts opinions and a student help me out i will say evidence this introduction will give insight about the core issue or element of the thesis statement an introduction will be dealing with the core element of the thesis statement a question written at length probably is only dealing with women's or role of women in indian society you will talk about women you will talk about women in indian society in the introduction you give a precise indication to the evaluator that you understand the core issue fair enough that is why in the given thesis statement i do not know where i have written suppose a thesis statement it is a cluster of words about 3 to 5 will be the core elements these are key words target areas and you have to react to them with the given extension 